So engineered corrosion solutions started from the premise of understand the problem, understand the solution, deploy the solution. Code Consultants Inc. initially started what is now Engineered Corrosion Solutions at the behest of their client May Company. Code Consultants was comprised of fire protection engineers and design engineers. They had no expertise in corrosion. To my knowledge, I'm the first corrosion engineer who ever participated in the fire protection industry, which is a little bit surprising given the fact that they have steel, water, and air coming together in their system. So they launched the company. I was hired in 2008 as the first corrosion engineer, not only for the FPS CMI, but within the industry. We quickly changed the way we were gonna approach it. The initial engineering team purchased the company from the founding shareholders of FPS CMI and formed Engineered Corrosion Solutions in 2013. Since that time, We've grown from five employees to 25 employees. And our approach has always been to hire engineers who represent different disciplines within the engineering field. So we have electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, uh, metallurgical engineers, chemical engineers, and fire protection engineers who all bring a different view to the problems that they're faced with. Our projections are that as the market adopts the technology, we know one thing for certain. Our technology will become a requirement within the industry within five years. It is slowly creeping into the code now, but it will be mandatory within the next five years. When it becomes mandatory, the, the, we expect that this company will grow exponentially. Because if you take a company like Walmart that has you know, 5,000 locations, when they understand how much money they can save, how much risk they can mitigate by deploying our technology, eventually they're going to say, do this. Intel said, do this, and they deployed our technology worldwide in all of their plants. It's beginning to happen more and more, so we see nothing but significant growth in the future. Our biggest hurdle will be to continue the core philosophies in the new engineers that we hire and the new people we hire. Within the core competencies of the organization is philosophically being Kaizen, being continuous improvement, and always looking for an innovation. Every time we do an install, there's an opportunity for somebody in the deployment of our equipment turning to us and saying, you know what would really be nice? Is if you could do this. We always listen to what they say. An engineer this week told me, you know what would really be nice if you'd move all these warning lights to the front of the cabinet from the side of the cabinet. And it seems trivial, but it's like if I walk by, I'm not gonna be looking at the side of the cabinet, I'll be looking at the front of the cabinet. Wouldn't it be nice if you're... And so we'll integrate that into the next iteration of design. And so philosophically, we will never stop pursuing new ideas, new patents, and we will never stop listening to the input from the client about how we can make things better for them.